<laughs> oh my god. Wow. Holy shit. Oh. Wow. So beautiful. Almost as beautiful as Duke's panda head. to honour this event in our lives and to celebrate the relationship we have had with all our fans, those of you who fell in love with us in 
I'm going to charge you double, motherfucker. She has, you know, anxieties and, and issues just like every other person, and I think that it's easier to relate to her that way, and that really comes through in the music. I love the vocals, I love the lyrics, I love the backing vocals, I love the production, I love the guitars, I love the bass lines. Their lyrics, the way that they perform, the way that they are on stage, everything that they've done, everything that they do, everything that they put out is always genuine. And they treat their fans really well. Every night we meet our fans, sometimes just getting off the bus, and sometimes we do meet and greets, and we're kind of blown away by the connection that we've had with many of them, and sometimes they come up and they can't even talk. They're, they're shaking and they, the words won't come out. They've got crazy tattoos. They give us letters and things, and a lot of them, they found some help in something to give them some confidence and, and a path through a difficult part of their life by listening to our music. And we've been seeing it every night, and uh, sometimes we're moved to tears by what people tell us in the, in the meet and greets. My son had passed away uh, a little more than a year ago, and I met, I ran into Shirley at the um, Cinerama Dome last, the day after Thanksgiving, right after I had gone to the cemetery, so it just meant a lot to meet her and tell her what her music means to me. Just for you to keep kicking. Yeah, yeah. Right. I appreciate yeah, it. Thank keep you. Going. Okay, hold on, I'm about to cry. Let's, let's just hold on one second. Everyone, let's take a deep breath. Yeah, yeah, everybody, drink a deep breath. It was really heavy though, I thought I was going to burst out crying. You know, this, sometimes it's the right combination of music and words and the time in your life. Yeah. And it took me from thinking like, what do I have to live for? To saying like, I have so much I can do, I have a skill set, I I can do it, you know? So right, uh, thank you very much. You. Yeah. Let me grab that really quick. Really yeah. I mean, it's a sad story, but a great story it's a sad, No, it's a happy story. It's a happy story. It's a happy Sadly. story. I don't even know what the, to, how to describe it. It's sort of an honor and then it's also you tune into people's suffering so but at the same time I know how much my music idols soothed my soul on my feathers and they brought me great comfort so if, if we're bringing that amount of comfort to other people then yeah that feels good And when you see when you see someone else singing the song that you wrote, we, we kind of see our, our songs through their eyes, through their ears, whatever. But through their butts. Through their what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's just when you said, I don't know. It's just it's, that's that, that's too it. Sorry, I apologize. That that was actually my next uh, what I was going to say.